Minecraft Scorpion's Mod Showcase Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to the 21st mod showcase, even though it's not really a mod showcase, but more a tutorial on how to install a mod. And I will show you how to install the single player command line mod, since uh, I believe pretty much of you had troubles with that. Um, yeah, well, m most of the mods are installed like this, like I'm going to show you right now, but always be sure to read the readme. Um, so and just follow every single step that is in the readme. So um, for now, I'm going to show you how to install the um, single player command line mod. First thing uh, you want to do is go to your .minecraft folder. There are multiple ways to do this, but this right here is a very easy one. Click mods and texture pack. Click open texture pack folder. That will open a folder, and just go one back to .minecraft. That will give you uh, go. Uh, let you go to your dot minecraft folder um, I'm going to close down my minecraft right here and what you want to do is make sure that you've got a backup of this minecraft that you are just for example just copy it to the desktop or something just so you have backup in case anything goes wrong you can just replace it and uh, everything's fine um, so what you what you gotta do right now uh, go to your web browser and go to this link right here. It's the uh, forum thread of the single player command line mod. Um, it's 1.6.5 right now, so it's all updated. So um, you can install it with 1.6.5. So go down here, go all the way down until you see this right here. This is download. Um, this right here will uh, give you download link to AdFly, and that will uh, give the maker of this mod a uh, very little bit of cash, a uh, little bit of money for every time someone downloads it via this link. You can also do it uh, via this link, but um, I really recommend you to do this link because that will support the owner. So I'm going to do that now again, and that will give you this link. You will have to wait five seconds, not a biggie. Um, then you can just click skip add, and it will start downloading and that supports the AD uh, maker of the mod. He did a fantastic job so I think you should click this link to give him some money. Um, it's definitely worth it. So uh, I already got it so I'm not going to download it again because well when you have got it it should look uh, something like this. Wait I should actually go to my downloads. Um, I thought it had it opened. Hmm. I downloaded with Chrome, I believe. Yeah. Okay. There we go. It should look like this. Um, now, what you're going to do is go back to your Minecraft folder, go into your bin folder. Let's close this, um, and then go to your Minecraft jar. Here, you will need uh, WinRAR or 7-Zip. Um, Right-click, click on Open with, click on WinRAR Archiver. That will give you something like this. First thing you need to do is make sure you've deleted uh, meta dot, uh, meta inf. If you haven't done it, your Minecraft will crash. So click delete. Sure you want to remove? Yes, delete it. What you're now going to do is go to your single player command line mod, the thing you've just downloaded. Select all the class files. So like this and this one. You don't need to read me. Just all the uh, things that end in that class and just move them over to right to here to the minecraft.jar click OK and now it's all copied to uh, minecraft.jar now for the part where a lot of people um, failed seeing the comments um, just you can close minecraft.jar and a lot of people either forgot or did this wrong um, you need to put the world edit.jar um, in the bin folder. Just copy this to the bin folder. That is Minecraft dot Minecraft and then the bin. Because if you do not do this, my it will give an error and World Edit won't work. So um, don't go ask why doesn't World Edit work. 
if you haven't done this. Um, and that is basically how you install it. Let's start Minecraft here to test it up. And you're all ready to go. Log in a little here. Okay, there we go. Um, and I'll just test it out right now. Go single player, I'll make a new world. Let it generate for a bit. And when I open it up, you should see here in the left bottom corner single player command I mod. And there you go, single player commands 2.9 underscore 1. And it all works perfectly. So, um, yeah. Flash, I'll show you that. The world edit commands work too now. As you can see, it all works absolutely fine. And that is how you install the um, single player command line mod. Now, a lot of few people have requested this tutorial, so here you go. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.